Good evening, chili heads, and particularly members of CG UK chili growers. Two pods from Edward Heller, very kindly sent to P. Smith. Via Matt Mitchell. Via Matt Mitchell, I'm being told. Um, so uh, I'm a wimp, and I'm going to do the smaller one. And Kiara isn't a wimp, and she's going to do the bigger one. I'm scared because I saw her take a little nibble of one of these and it was okay. it took her by Thank surprise. You. Oh, excuse me. Cheers all. This is a very, very nice rock. Chong, you'd love it. Mm. Oh yeah. So and um, plenty of that to make sure the um, the nerve centre is reasonably on each side before we start. Rubbish. So, um, Scotch Bonnets, Edward Heller, thank you very much. Matt Mark Mitchell, Mitchell, thank you very much. Um, I'm going to take a reasonably big bite of this one. Fiona's not really doing a review, she's just going to enjoy hers, I think, in the background. Um, for me, a large hot pepper is new territory. Um, I've got a reasonable tolerance of hot things and always have had, but um, a big, hottish pepper, I think, is a bit of a challenge. So, um, B suggests I take a reasonably big bite, but allow enough room to talk. It's not a hard thing for me to do. It's not a lot of food. Okay, so. As B calls it a linky lonk, but there goes the stalk. She's well in. She's um, she's already uh, bitten off the the lion's share of that, and uh, she's behaving reasonably cool. So here we go, folks. Juicy. Here comes the heat. <laughs> Mm. That's going to make me hiccup. Mm. Please laugh in. No, I'm sorry. <coughs> Hmm. I mean, my mouth's burning, but um, it's in the middle of my tongue. I swallowed the first half of it. Um, a lot of burn in the middle of my tongue. Um, a bit in the throat. It's a fruity chili. It's um. Not massively strong in flavour, but very, very juicy and fruity. These um, dying, dying, um, going for the yogurt, holding her head. Um, yeah, it's hot and it made me hiccup to start with. Um, yeah, uh, the bird is not on the front of my tongue at all, but. Maybe because I didn't let it get there. Um, it is chuffing hot. There's a lot of heat in in my throat where I've swallowed it, and yeah, it's 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 a it's a hot character. So we'll do the rest. I'll try the rest of the other. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So it's making my nose run a little bit. Um mm. 
I don't want to leave any bits behind in my mouth because they're going to hurt. Mm. Um, I'm being offered a tissue in case my nose nose runs obscenely. Um, yeah, I've tasted. Um, it's, it's hot. It's it's burning well. It's definitely well in the throat, towards the back of the mouth and the throat. Um, uh, so I'm trying to find all the little bits and not leave them there burning away. Try the bit of red one on this one. Um, Fee's struggling. She thinks the red one might be a lot hotter. Um, hotter than the two I've eaten before. I'm crying. Yeah. I don't know whether you can hear her there, but she says the red one's hotter than the two that she's eaten before, and she's crying. Um, that's very, very, very hot, um, but and it's stinging, it's zinging, it's um, it's hard, it's it's heavy going. Um, I don't know what I'm in for here. It's killed Fee. It hasn't killed me, but it's brought me off. I don't know whether you can hear that. She reckons she's still alive, but it's bloody hot. Um. Mmm. That's a different flavour. Mmm. There's a bitterness to that, and an earthiness to it. Again, fruity, but it's oilier than the last one. It's oilier than the orange one. No, it was the hot one. Um. <coughs> hmm. I don't think it's much hotter than the orange one, or maybe the orange one had just uh, set my palate up for it. Um, it's hot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the stomach thing going on in a minute. I can feel it hitting the stomach. <coughs> uh, yeah, those are hot. <coughs> it's the sheer volume of chili that's yeah. done me on those because, yeah. um, you know, I've, I've done. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, some of the. Um, Chilies I'd done before were fairly hot, but they were small. That's a lot of chili. Throat is really quite hot. It's very definitely a throat burner, this one. Um, nice one, though. I'm fine. My Adam's apple is suffering. I'm fine, is now fine, having done some yoghurt. I know they say cream doesn't work, but... Top of my throat is very, very hot. I do think it built, and I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a can't sit still. My feet would be dancing, but the dog's sitting on them. Uh, head rush? Yeah, a little bit of a head rush. Minor, minor, but. Excuse me. Mm. Oh, it's hot. Your eyes are one. Yeah. Uh, that was Fee saying my eyes are running. Ah. Uh. Oh no, I haven't done yet. It's still burning. And I'm waiting for it to hit belly. It's starting to. So it's just at the bottom of my rib cage now. Uh, oh, 
Okay. Well, that was interesting. Um, I can eat hot chilies. It yeah. hurts me just the same as everybody else. And I'm just going to be told that they're not hot. No. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. I might come back on when it hits bottom and it starts to, uh, or when it hits belly, when it starts to give me a belly rush, I might uh, come back and let you know how I'm going. But uh, for now, I'm just burning very well in the mouth and quite a lot in the top of the throat. So, uh, speak to you later, peeps. Bye. Ah, yeah, that's going, I think. Hello again. Uh, just a... A final wrap. Oh, Fee's begging for the wine. She's she soft hers following that scotch bonnet. Well, for me it was hot. It was very hot. Um, five, five, four, six minutes later, it's um, settled down a great deal. Um, it's uh, sitting, still sitting, just at the bottom of my rib cage, which is burning a little bit. Um, we've had a big meal, so it probably can't get into my belly for. For steak, which is always nice. Excuse me. Steak with chili. Steak with a chili marinade by the lovely tea. Um. So, uh, Fee informs me that they were particularly hot for Scotch bonnets. Um. I thought. So she thought. So um. Uh. I thought it was very nice. I thought it was very hot. Um. It is burning actually down here. It's burning quite well. But I think we're about done. I don't think we're going to have any major calamities now. So, uh, thank you for listening and um, speak to you again another time. Bye bye.